teach you that how the the present and the current techniques have been evolved over the period of like last uh, uh, two decades how it started what we have achieved uh, in that time and uh, we ended up like on zinc finger nucleases and i tried to explain that once we have the zinc finger nucleases they have a much better efficiency than simple homologous recombination these zinc finger nucleases are capable of inducing or creating a double stranded dna break so that actually uh, rings the bell in the mind of many many people over there who are involved in ethical concerns and debates that creating a double stranded dna break in human genome is like a, a big risk we are about to take i mean it's not uh, it's not that uh, uh i must say harmless thing it says it's, 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 uh, it might end up in some weird results but the targeted genome editing means that we have the control that where we will going to produce that double standard dna break and i can tell you that even the zinc finger nucleases were supposed to be very advanced and they were like uh, have higher efficiency at that time highest efficiency at that time even then they are they are they were creating double standard dna breaks at the non targeting regions at the places where they are not supposed to this thing is called as off site activity and you you know what will happen after that the cells will no longer able to perform in a normal way who knows that this off site activity will lead to the loss of function and will lead to a trouble and that will create toxicity trouble within the cells so this will stay this this stayed as a problem at that time but somehow we able to produce a double stranded dna break and the rest we are using we were using the dna repair mechanism the non homologous and joining which can uh, uh, create a mutation in that region or we can give a donor plasmid we can give a donor plasmid with the similar sequences left and right arm sequences of the target sequence which serves as a donor dna fragment during the process of replication and not only become integrated into the host genome but also carries the external dna which you want to send or which you want to introduce into the human genome when we have studied that thing earlier but if you are not sending any donor plasmid if you are not giving any donor plasmid in that case the double stranded dna break trigger the dna repair mechanism and the dna repair mechanism will then try to fix the error and in order to fix the error they will going to add few base pairs or remove some of the base pairs from there and that ended up in mutation most probably so for the zinc finger nucleases the best use is to create a double stranded dna break and let the dna repair mechanism to induce mutations these mutations are generally called as indel they might be insertions they might be deletions so they are the mutation they called indels for example this is the wild type sequence but because of these experiments in these different organisms they able to change the sequence you can see certain base pairs are removed from here and different base pairs there is no law that how many base pairs will be removed from from there because the dna repair mechanism will try to fix it sometimes they lose four base pairs sometimes they lose seven base pairs who knows so but they still they able to create a targeted knockout with the help of zinc finger nucleases at that time in the meanwhile uh i think in 2000 uh, uh from 2010 onwards maybe in 2012 i guess so uh a parallel technology based on the same principles called talens that was appeared on the map i i can recall that that paper from uh from from some a german research group was out there about the talens 
transcription activator like effector proteins and those proteins collectively called as talons the n here is once again the nucleus okay like the n here in the zinc finger is like for the nucleus so zinc finger is a protein combined with the nucleus so talon the tal tal effectors or the tals they are the proteins the dna binding proteins like the zinc fingers and then bound with the nucleases certain things you need to know about the talons the first they use the same mechanism that means you need to create an array array of tal protein these different beads are different tal proteins in the same way like zinc fingers so you need to create two tal effector or talons array bind to specific locations on the opposite strand of the dna each talons array or module is bound with the fok1 the other talons is once again bound with the fok1 these two fok1 once correctly placed they will dimerize and they will going to create a double stranded dna break in the same way the zinc finger nucleases were doing but why the talons become more famous i can tell you the talons has actually destroyed the industry of zinc finger nucleases at that time when they appear they just kicked out all the industry of zinc finger nucleases they were more efficient much better the reason why there was a limitation in case of the zinc finger nucleases that limitation is that one zinc finger protein is able to recognize three base pairs that mean we might not be able to target every location on the genome because it is targeting three base pairs not one base pair so you have to use multiple combinations and you will never be able to target any or all the regions of your choice using the zinc fingers in case in case of tal effectors proteins one tal effector protein this one is able to recognize one base pair that special you can see this is recognizing a this one is recognizing the g this tal effector protein is recognizing the t this one a this one to the t and this one to the c and that's very amazing that we have different tal effector proteins each recognizing one base pair that mean we can put all those tal effector proteins in a sequence of our own choice to create a talons module which can bind at the place of our own choice anywhere on the human genome so you can put these 12 tals together and that will going to bind with the 12 base pairs any 12 base pair sequence you can design any target protein remember the tal effectors are the dna binding proteins they are the dna binding protein so they can bind with the dna but their specificity is like one to one one tal will going to bind with one base pair on the dna and that allows more leverage more freedom to create the combinations of your own choice in case of zinc finger there is a limitation of g that it should start with the g because the zinc fingers are more likely to bind with the codon with the three base pair sequences starting with the g but there is no limitation here if you try to see further the structure of the tal effector proteins this one expanding the structure it's a small protein and you can see they are made up of large number of amino acids all these are the amino acids they are amino acid sequences interestingly all the amino acid sequences sequences in a tal protein are conserved 
So that means all the sequences are same in all types of tau effector proteins other than the two in the middle. So that in the tau effector proteins, all the pro amino acid sequences are same other than the middle one. Here in the middle one, that portion is called as RVD or it is called as repeat variable domain. It is called as repeat variable domain. So two amino acids in the middle of the tile effector protein were changed. That will change the DNA binding capacity as well. So if a tile effector is supposed to bind with the C, we should have HD here. We should have HD here. If we place NG instead of the HD here, NG, another two amino acids instead of HD, that will going to bind with the T, another base pair of the DNA. So what I want to tell you is that, that the, all the tile effector proteins have the same sequence apart from the two amino acids. I'm talking about the amino acid sequence in the protein. So the amino acid sequence of that protein is same in all the tile effector proteins other than the two amino acids, which are called as repeat variable. They change and that changes the specificity of the target DNA. The rest of the things are same. So you create the tile vector array, you put them together, join with the FOC1 and create a nucleus. And that is called as tile effector nucleases. And that will work in the same way like zinc finger nucleases. But the freedom is more, the efficiency is better, and you can target any place on, 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 the, on, the, on the human genome. It expands our horizon. Hope this explains. More, more interesting thing is that from where we came to know about the talons. And uh, I can tell you that uh, we came to know about the talons from, uh, from the people from agriculture. And I want you guys to, to read that paper. I think the title of the paper was uh, Breaking the Code of the DNA. Breaking the code of uh, DNA or maybe the breaking the code of the talents. I have to Google. 2010, 12, 12, I have to Google. Which actually explains and uh, introduce the talents, the concept of talents. And uh, as a researcher, if this is your place, this is your area, you should be interested in the history of all these things. You should feel good and happy in studying about all those things. I can tell you. Question to Nibi Sikipas. I'm sure you guys are having good time. Sir, jitne... G. Sir, Jitne bhi abhi talents manufacture hoye, aap keh rahe unki amino acid sequence self repeat variable domain ke lava same hai. Bilkul same hai. Or wo manufacture, they say Muradi again, Logoni clone ki hai na? G. But the story Nein. was. G. 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 Shabash. Bole, bole, bole. Sir, like in. अगर आपने ऐसे डीएनए की स्पेसिफिक सीक्वेंसेस पे बाइंड करवाना है तो उनकी जो न्यूक्लियोटाइड सीक्वेंस है वो तो चेंज होगी तो उस पे हम सेम टैलेंट्स कैसे यूज कर सकते हैं सेम टैलेंट यूज नहीं करेंगे वी शुड यूज फोर डिफरेंट टैलेंट्स वन टैलेंट इज टारगेटिंग सी द अदर इज टारगेटिंग टी मैंने एग्जांपल बताई आपको कि अगर एचडी यहां पे लगा होगा दैट विल गोइंग टू बाइंड विद द सी अगर यहां पर एचडी की बजाय एनजी होता दैट विल गोइंग टू टारगेट द टी so we need four talons only. One talon for the T, the other for the C, the other for the G, and the other for the A. And we will put them, you know, in a sequence of our, of our own choice to target the place of our own choice. That is, it, is it clear? Yes, no, sir. Okay, good. Shabash, thank you. Thank you for the question. Your question allows me to have a sip of coffee. ओके okay, मैं ही चाहता हूं बट आई वांट यू गाइस टू मुझे मैं बता दूंगा ना तो 
लेकिन मैं बता ही दूंगा आपको वैसे क्योंकि मुझे यकीन है आप आप मेरी तरह की हैं आप पढ़ने की शौकीन कम है जर्मन पेपर था जर्मन रिसर्च ग्रुप था एंड टाइटल वॉज समिंग ब्रेकिंग द कोड ऑफ द समिंग ब्रेकिंग द कोड ऑफ डी एन ए इस तरह का पेपर था एनी वेज मुझे बाद में याद करो ना आई कैन गूगल इट फॉर यू और यू गाइज कैन गूगल इट मे बी बेटर देन मी कि भी अगर आपको आपसे कहा जाए कि टैलेंट्स की हिस्ट्री निकालो तो यू शुड बी एबल टू एंड एंड लेट मी डिफ्यूज योर इंटरेस्ट फॉर फॉर दोज पीपल जिनके जो मेरी तरह के हैं जो कम पढ़ने वाले हैं जो नहीं पढ़ेंगे इस पेपर को उनके लिए मैं बता देता हूँ कि एक्चुअली इट अराइज इट अपियर्स फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द वर्क ऑफ द पीपल इन द एग्रीकल्चर फील्ड दे वर studying a pathogen a bacteria a prokaryote a bacteria which infects the rice so they were studying at that time that there was a species of bacteria which infect the rice very efficiently and they discovered that the immune system of the rice get diffused when that bacteria attacks so in the in the event of the infection the rice become defenseless so they were wondering that why and who is actually able to you know rice is a big big giant as compared to the bacteria prokaryote simple small thing rice is like a very higher plant so how a simple small microorganism like bacteria is able to infect the rice by by chopping uh, or by silencing its immune system so they were like working on this type of disease and that and then they they find out that uh, that the rice immune system is targeted specifically somebody specifically targeted the genes which are responsible for the immune function of the rice तो देखो कैसी अजीब बात है कि अगर आप किसी मुल्क पे हमला करने जा रहे हैं और पहले ही उसकी फौज को टीका लगा कर ठूस कर दें सो द जीन्स विच आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फॉर द फंक्शन प्रॉपर इम्यून फंक्शन द बैक्टीरिया सेंड समथिंग विच एक्चुअली स्पेसिफिकली टारगेट दो जीन्स एंड डिस्ट्रॉय दम एंड दैट इज वाई दे डिस्कवर दिस थिंग दैट वॉज वेरी एफिशियंट आई मीन इट्स अमेजिंग आई विश के आप लोग इसको आप लोगों के दिल में कुछ कुछ हो जब आप ये पढ़ें and you study more and and tell me uh, come back with because the crispr story was like this i want you guys to 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 because this is the future i can tell you i uh, i mean baaki sari baatein hain jo bhi hum padhenge na bachcho wali baatein hain this is something which the rest of the world is doing and i and as a university student i, I can take prestige of that stuff that you know, you guys know and understand and trying to learn the things which is like uh, no in the syllabus of the so for, for the people from the international universities as well so please be very serious on these things okay